must be the place. You can come out. I've seen your plan. Besides, I can hear you. One of you's wheezing like a broken bellows. Another's panting frantically like a deer caught in a trap. And the third should really take something for that throat. I'd try time extract. Someone care to explain what's going on here? What's going on is that you're down there, and we're up here! That's a situation I can fix quickly. Richie thingy no gum gum! The bounding witchy thingy swoop man! That's right! We've caught you! You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful! Oh really? Fact is, I could just turn around and- Hold it hold! Glitchy thingy, gum gum, shut kid! Wolf swoop man. I wonder why he's not already in the shrimp. You were to kill him. <sighs> what? We never said nothing about killing. Not a thing. We were just supposed to scare him. So witchy thingy us scary thingies. Make him no touch us. I believe you misunderstood. <sighs> He's a murderer. Like the rest of them. Like the one who killed my Adali. <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wench. We all are. A doubler. But this witcher didn't kill her. And we can't very well punish him for another's crime. He has much to answer for, too. <sighs> I heard he killed a Korid in Tucson. But he spared a golden dragon. So what? What about Verena? The Bruxa with the fondness for blue roses from Nazaire. He showed her no mercy. <sighs> Irina killed many an innocent. I had to do something, but I've helped monsters aplenty. Yes? Who? Johnny. A godling living in Velen. Helped him recover his voice. That's right! A little birdie told me. Now Johnny can say all his favorite words loud as he likes. The sound of surreptitious shenanigans rings out over all Velen. Don't make me laugh. That's not nearly enough. <sighs> not so long ago, I spared the life of a Doppler in Novigrad. He was stealing food for the Scoia'tael. Letting him go cost me a hefty bounty. Oh, I'm grateful. Not many of us left. You see? He's not that bad. We should let him go. Let him go? No! So he can track us down and butcher us? I won't hurt you. I don't kill sentient creatures. You lie. Every witcher is a murderer. Ah. I kill monsters, true. It's my job. But only when they threaten humans. You hate us! Hate us all! Humans hate you all. Because they don't know you. Don't know which of you are dangerous and which want to live in peace. Only witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds. Protect both. We kill dangerous monsters so the thinking ones can live in peace. So you say now, as you stand there, scared. You know we have the upper hand. Ha, ha, ha. You don't. Could have killed you all long ago if I'd wanted to. I believe him. We should let him be. I'm all for it. To my thinking, he's telling the truth. Let witchy thingy go. Ah, fools! Gullible as newborns! A just witcher! A kind witcher! A lying witcher! He fiends it all! All humans lie! Let it rest! This is not the way! You shan't bring Adalia back! Ah! Stay here! 
I'll finish this alone. do it without here. being uh, uh kind of want to do it without being hit werewolves are kind of they're kind of challenging but a little annoying similar it doesn't matter you're done what now you piece of filth okay hold on yeah i can't do that because uh I also want to avoid dismembering him. Yennefer's suspicions Yennefer Yennefer had appeared in Skellig. What? She'd arrived from another Yeah, I want to be able to hear the dialogue as well. Mage. She and the Just bear with me here. The I'll get to the, I'll get to discussing the quest in a second. There... It doesn't matter. You're done. You will die for her, for my Adalia. Ah! You were right. Monsters are like men. Some are good, some are bad, and still others simply lost. That's a right shame. I was different once. Should never have let him talk us into this. Here, a little something from us, so you'll remember not all monsters are dangerous. Thanks. Oh. Necker hide boots, right? Um. So, I finished this quest in the last installment. Okay, this is actually well, they're surprisingly comfortable boots with stylish claws on the uh, uppers. <laughs> That's awesome. So yeah, I, I ended the last installment because I wanted to actually, uh, I wanted to talk about this quest. Um, what the hell's wrong with them? Are they, uh... Oh, I think because of the rain they're being, like, blackened or something. Haha! <laughs> uh, okay. Pretty cute. Um... Right, so it, it's uh, pouring rain, so I think I'm going to... Uh... <laughs> not that one, not that one. Um... So. Right. Skellige's Most Wanted. I had a I had a video earlier 
discussing the uh, Whispering Hillock quest. And I think I kind of want to do that for... I want to do that for certain missions, right? Where there, where some discussion is warranted. Um, here, I'll turn it down a little bit. Um, what's next here? This isn't going to be the next... It's going to be part of the Let's Play... Or, uh, it's going to be part of the uh, playthrough. Because this is my actual finishing of the quest. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to have this video discussing the Skellige's Most Wanted quest. So, anyways. After showing you the cutscene. Or showing you it. I think we're... Um, oh shit. You can loot him. Or mutagen hide saliva. All right. So, I kind of want to uh, go over why I don't like this quest. Uh, I don't know. I think this quest is pretty universally beloved. Um, at least when I look at the comment section for videos uh, showing the quest. And it is a, it is a well-implemented quest. And you can it takes into account your previous choices. Which is something that you, you know, you get to see reactivity in the, in the game's world. Like, uh, like, consequences to your choices. But in terms of, like, pre, like, previous choices affecting future choices, like, that doesn't happen all that often. Um, or as often as it should. So, and, and also, yeah, it takes into account choices that have nothing to do with this quest. Which is pretty interesting. Um, but I want to go over why I don't really like this quest. Um, it's a... Okay. It's a cool idea, right? And it... Yeah, okay, so the, the thing... The things that I like about it... I... I th well... I think I saw somebody talking about it as well. I don't, I don't remember the channel name, but... Uh, the... I think he, he said something where the whole the whole quest was cool because, you know, it, it did involve previous choices and uh, the, the, like, tension of figuring out what was going on was pretty cool. So yeah, th this quest is probably one of those that probably hits harder the first time you see it. Um, and I'm sure most people know this quest by now, and it's a, you know, um, this quest was a DLC, so yeah, uh, this video is already super, like, kind of, uh, unpolished, but this is, like, right after I'm, I'm, I got to this point in the game, so. But, yes, yeah, CD Projekt Red released, uh, free DLC after the game's release to kind of drum up, uh, players, I think, um, and it was pretty cool. And they, some of the DLC were kind of minor, some of them actually had quests like this one, um, and uh, the other quest has issues too, where the wolf and cat play. I suppose that's a that's a, another one I could probably do a, a, another video on, talking about that just de that decision. But to me, I feel like that decision is really kind of obvious to anyone um, with, a, with a brain, you know. But um, to me, yeah, okay. Um, God, I should have like prepared notes or something because. I think what I want to do is just kind of commentate over this uh, scene here. Um, let's go. Let's go back here. I, I'll just start. I'll just start here. Um, I think that this quest is kind of half baked and a little dumb, if I'm being honest. It's a, it's. It's a case. Of, it's a case in this game where there's actually bad writing, in my opinion. Um, so let's just go piece by piece here. Must be the place. You can come out. I've seen your plan. Besides, I can hear you. Okay. So yeah, if you don't know the background, um, 
he like took a contract and the guy at the B this, that's a pretty cool part of the quest too, is like the kind of the foreshadowing of it. But you go to this village in Skellige and there's this guy who really wants a witcher to help out with some, with some monsters. And there it's like, there's so many signs that he's a little bit weird and yeah, you can check that out if you want, but um, yeah, he uh, refuses to let the other guys help um, or to let the warriors help. He uh, seems a bit off when you press him on stuff and he just doesn't, he seems like he doesn't know anything, which is weird because I think he's supposed to be a Skelligan Doppler, you know, so he, sh he should know these things, right? Um, but then you, uh, uh, okay, jeez. And then, yeah, he he takes any price for the contract. Um, and then you go on the trail, you uh, look at what's happened, and it looks like the 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 dead bodies or the the dead things there. Like there's like a guy that they didn't really look like they were killed. Um, and then like a bolt, a, they try to throw a boulder onto you, and then they go, and then you follow the trail into like a Ericus cave or nest and then you find the the this like fortress that they're in and then they have these like they have these literal like child drawings that are um going over their plan to lure out Geralt and kill him um and then they and then in this dialogue they say they don't want to kill him like if they didn't want to kill him then why did they throw a massive boulder on him you know i don't <laughs> Wheezing like a oh yeah, and then bellow. Geralt's like, I can hear you. So that makes sense, right? Geralt is supposed to be, have super hearing, but yeah, his uh, hearing abilities are kind of inconsistent. Um, I think this is like kind of this uh, this dialogue is kind of cringy to me because why would he? I don't know. It, it's not that big of a deal. It's another it, panting kind of frantically like a deer caught in a trap. I don't really have another explanation. <laughs> And the third should really take something for that throat. I'd try time extract. Yeah, I feel like the reason why it's kind of cringe to me is because it's kind of out of character for Geralt, you know, or compared to how he is in the rest of the game, you know. That's just my opinion. I, I also want to disclose that I'm, I haven't, I not only have I not played the previous two games, but I've never read any of the books. Meaning that I'm in line with pretty much at least half the player base of The Witcher 3. Let's be real. Um, so. Yeah, I, I, I would like to know what percentage of The Witcher 3 player base has, has either uh, read any of the books or um, played the previous two games. Um, I'm guessing that, obviously, if you're into, like, The Witcher series or, like, The Witcher mythology, you'd probably... You know, and if you're still into that, still into this game to this day, you're probably you're probably somewhat invested in the other properties. But um, I am one of many people who who couldn't really care less about things that are outside of The Witcher Three specifically. You know, um, because yeah, if I really wanted to play The Witcher One and Two, I would. You know, and if I really wanted to read any of the books, I would. But um, but yeah, the the comments about the monsters breathing just sound a little bit out of character to me. Um, and then they come up like this epic entrance that's that's just a little corny to me. Um, Someone care to explain what's going on here? What's going on is that you're down there, a were up here. That's a situation I can fix quickly. Ritzy <laughs> thingy, no gum gum. Yeah, I, I, I just want to like ask, cause like there are there are like actually cool and like badass quests in this game, and I feel like this this whole scene was like made by a completely different team or something, cause it I don't know. There's just something kind of. I should have prepared more words than cringy, but it's like, I don't know. It's just something off about it, you know. It just doesn't fit, and I'll get more into why it doesn't. But Bounding, witchy, thingy, swoop, I like man. the troll, though. I, I like the troll. That's right. 
We've caught you. You're at our mercy now, and we're none too merciful. So yeah, the the godling is a little weird because she likely drew those pictures, right? And uh, the um, she obviously she's obviously threatening to kill him here, but then she immediately doesn't want to kill Geralt. Oh really? I think she's just Fact stupid. Is, I could just turn around and it out. Yep. But I wonder why he's not already. And then we have this um really annoying dumbass werewolf. Shrimp. Who I actually kind of agree with, but I'll get I'll get into it. You were Yep. Gonna kill him and what? then they We never said nothing about killing. And then yeah, that's I, to me that's the dumbest line because it's like, bro, if you didn't want to kill him, then why did you do all that shit? Unless you, unless you knew that, I guess they knew it was the White Wolf, and he knew he would be able to get out of get out of all these problems. But like, these are really deadly things to do to somebody. So I don't know. It's like saying, "Oh, I put up a you know a bear trap in my house. I put up a booby trap in my house, and I didn't want to kill anybody. You know, I just wanted to warn you not to come into my house." And then they step on the they step on the bear trap and lose their leg. They fall into the spike pit and instantly die right i mean just kind of bad logic to me not a thing we were just supposed to scare him bullshit, so witchy bullshit. Thingy of scary thingies. yeah i think the troll was probably the one who came up with this plan i believe you misunderstood uh, he's a murderer aside from the yeah that's another thing about the werewolves in this game too that it's like a side note I think all of the werewolves are extremely... They have very annoying voices. I'm not going to lie. And there is a character that's in the future as well named Morkvarg. Um, not really a spoiler to talk about, I guess, but Morkvarg is a werewolf that you meet in this sacred garden. And, oh my god, he has the most annoying, fucking awful voice ever. And he just constantly goes like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of like realistic, right? Because that's probably how an actual werewolf would talk. But, like, it's just so unbearable to listen to. Um and then, yeah, that's pretty much how all werewolves talk in this game. Like the rest of them. Like the one... Yeah, so this this werewolf has a personal... For some reason, this fucking dumbass werewolf has a personal vendetta against witchers. And uh, because they because a witcher killed his, like, werewolf wife... Werewolf waifu? Um, to me, th okay, to me, this is just bad writing. Because, okay, well, I, I'm gonna get into it. Killed my Adali. Nobody cares about your wife, you faggot. <clears throat> Awful sorry about your wife. It's weird that the... Yeah, because Doppler, Dopplers are supposed to be peaceful creatures, right? It's weird that that guy is even here. Helping. It's just This is just a badly written quest. We all are. A but Doppler. this witcher didn't kill her. And we can't very well punish him for another's crime. Right, yeah. So this quest is kind of trying to be a little bit of like not social commentary, but like commentary on this idea that oh, uh, witchers only kill monsters that deserve it, you know. Oh, it's it makes me cringe. Okay. He has much to answer for. Yeah. Him. Oh, that's the perfect comparison. Yeah. The the uh, the monsters come out and they they're they're like entrance they're like reveal shot is like fucking straight out of the x-men or something and i think that's kind of what they were going for a little bit with this quest is like an x-men type feel <sighs> I heard he has much he to answer for the Corrid in Tucson. but he spared a golden dragon so what what about verena and then what what does this godling have to like how did these people even know this it's not even it's not established that they're all like crazy monsters who have a personal vendetta against Geralt because he kills monsters. It's like the idea okay, this is not really a complicated idea. Maybe for somebody who has like the media literacy capability of like a four year old. But like, yeah. If the if they're if like the term monster is kind of reductive but it's it's usually up, applied properly right monster um, you know and it and it's said that you know or v vesemir is like silvers for monsters steals for fools right um or you know Geralt will be like 
yeah, the steel sword is for monsters too, just human ones, you know. So, yeah, mo- witchers kill monsters that deserve it. But the idea that there are like innocent monsters is kind of stupid. And I'll, okay, so yeah, there are like monsters that you can find, like the two, like those in Novigrad. Here, we'll just like, play. with the fondness for blue roses. How would these people hair? know this? He... And th- yeah, the, another reason why this quest is stupid is because they all like know about they they all know about these monsters, and like the the idea that all like monsters are like this oppressed minority or something, and they all like know each other, is really like low IQ and 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 uh, uh I don't know. I can't, I'm struggling to find a, a, a word besides stupid, but like the idea that like these four people are like repres- representatives of the monster community, like m- monsters aren't a community. There are so many different kinds of monsters and they're probably all from different planets, you know, with how the conjunction worked. Um, and like, they're, they're not unified at all. So like, are these are supposed to be like the monster X-Men which is so so corny that it should it does not fit in the Witcher universe at all. You know, the the Witcher universe is purposely not black and white, but it kind of treads on into black and white because or it, yeah, Geralt is a character who tries to stay neutral but has, has to take a side anyways because he's a badass, you know, and he has to like do the right thing. That's the point, you know. Um Don't her no mercy. <sighs> Who cares? Is that that must be a book reference? And then we have this uh, really dumb dialogue. Arena killed many an innocent. I had to do something, but I've helped monsters aplenty. This is yeah, and then this is where it gets into this quest is underdeveloped, right? Like, yeah, this okay. This is a case where, like, an American developer would probably do a lot better because, like, this type of story where it's, like, you're trying to have, you're trying to frame monsters as this, like, misunderstood class. And it's, like, no. Like, this is very simplistic. That's a good, that's a great way of describing the quest is it's simplistic. I've helped monsters plenty. Hmm. Why does it matter? Like, he doesn't help monsters. He helps, like, innocent creatures, you know? Like, I, I don't like this. I, I don't like the idea that monsters are like a group, you know, or a community. Because monster is just a, another word for pest, really, you know? Yes, who? I helped a godling. Here we go. Johnny, a godling living in Velen. Helped him recover his voice. I, cho- I chose those options because I thought they were the most fitting. Helped him recover his voice. So I think that's the only one that's like mandatory because you do that in the main quest, right? That's right. And then somehow this godling no, knows about it, all his words, loud as he loves. which I suppose I can believe. I suppose I can believe because godlings are kind of mysterious, like, you know, otherworldly creatures. So they, sh- they might have some kind of arcane knowledge, but it's like the way that it's delivered is kind of weird. And she knows exactly what she says. Yeah, to me, that this is a very, uh, and it's. It's a very like fan service, fan servicey quest too, because it's like, how would she know exactly what Johnny said either, you know? And this, this, yeah, introducing this idea that these monsters or they're they're like they're introducing the idea that the um, monsters are a unified group, you know? Who cares? Don't make me laugh. That's not nearly enough. He'll say that no matter what you say, I think. Um, I let a Doppler go in Novigrad. This one is okay. Let's choose a different option here. I let Selma go. Yeah, because the guy's like, thanks for doing that. Not many of us left. Sort of implying that he doesn't... He didn't necessarily know about it, but let's see. I let Selma go. Selma, a succubus in Novigrad. Let her go free, even though I knew she'd killed some guardsmen. You mean... Even when you know a monster's killed someone, you don't hurt them? If it had good reason, yeah, sometimes. You say? He's not that bad. 
and they get convinced really easily. That's that's fair. That's fair because godlings and Dopplers are like pretty innocent um, creatures, almost you know always. No, so it can track us down and butcher us. I won't hurt you. I don't kill sentient creatures. Which is another really dog shit, um, stupid line from Geralt because he obviously does. He kills sentient creatures all the time. He kills humans. I think what they, yeah, this might be like a mistranslation thing, but I don't kill innocent creatures. That's what he should have said, you know? Um, yeah. Although I don't, it probably isn't a mistranslation. It's probably, you know, because that's what, it, yeah, th <laughs> this quest is kind of, uh, even though it takes into account your previous choices, it's kind of restrictive because it's like, it, it treats the whole issue of sparing certain monsters like you're doing it on this, like, oh, you're on this crusade to make, to, to have monsters be more accepted in society. And it, oh my God, the, that's not at all in character for Geralt, right? If he knows a monster isn't hurting anybody, then he's going to spare it, you know? But like, he is a monster slayer. Um, and basically all monsters are bad and pests, right? You can, you know, you can talk about Leshens who are basically like nature protectors, you know, and you can talk about Griffins who are basically just animals, you know, fighting for their um, territory. But like, then they wouldn't be any better than n normal animals, you know, which don't have as much value as humans. <laughs> Every witcher is a murderer. Who cares? Who cares? Murderer of who? Like, yeah. I kill monsters, true. It's my job. But only when they threaten humans. You hate us! Hate us all! Yeah. It's just dumb writing to me. It's, it, yeah, it's treating, it's treating monsters as like this uh, extra class when they're not, you know? And to me, I feel like that's kind of a, uh, it seems like a bit of a poor understanding of the way monsters work in The Witcher. Because monster is just like a generic term for, you know, otherworldly creature that's harming things. To me, like if you, like the Doppler in Novigrad wasn't really a monster. I mean, I guess it would be taxonomically in The Witcher, in the Witcher world. But like, yeah, like there the a random bandit that Geralt finds in the street is going to be just as sentient as that uh, Doppler in Novigrad, but he's going to be way easier to kill because it's in, you know, in self-defense and they're hit and they're hurting people. But like this Novigrad is just stealing things from merchants or this Doppler is just stealing things from merchants. Um, yeah. I don't kill sentient creatures. Kind of a dumb line from Geralt in my opinion. Um, because that's not true at all. He kills sentient creatures literally constantly, uh, if you include humans, obviously. And then uh, it's, I think it's said that a lot of a lot of the monsters Geralt faces are uh, sentient, like Neckers. Um, I think there's a there was a note recently that Neckers were sentient. Even things like Catacans, they have they collect things and they, but like it really doesn't matter. It's like yeah, it's like saying you know a magpie is just as good as a human because they're smart, you know, um, or like they have funeral or they have like death rituals for other birds or like, you know, elephants are just as good as a human because they're, they're, they're really smart. I mean, <clears throat> I don't know. This quest is very half baked. Humans hate you all because they don't know you. Don't know which of you are dangerous and which. I could be just like looking, looking too deep, deeply into this quest, but like I just want to talk about it and talk about why I don't like this. Humans hate you all. In peace. Don't introduce me. This is an okay line. I, at first, when I when I first heard this again, I was like, oh, this is cringy. But like, um, <sighs> humans hate you because they don't know you kind of a ham-fisted line, right? Humans hate monsters because they're overwhelmingly harmful and evil, you know? Um, 
man, Geralt's a fucking sexy dude. That's crazy, man. Um, the, uh, don't know which of you are dangerous and which one wants to live in peace. Well, I can't fucking blame humans because literally 99.9% .9 of all monsters are harmful, you know? And we're talking about like your average drowner, ghoul, whatever. And like, it's the very rare, uh, percentage that are actually like not dangerous. Um, like Dopplers, um, and Succubi and, um, trolls are actually pretty dangerous too, but oftentimes they talk and are willing to communicate. Um, yeah. And not, yeah, not to even mention the character of, uh, of Regis, right? Um, who I don't really want to get into because that's kind of like spoilery, but uh, that is a character from the books who is a uh, higher vampire, and he's like completely cool. He's like he's just like a regular. I mean, he's like super powerful and everything, but he's uh, basically just a regular dude. Um, very smart and like well read and everything because he's super old, right? But He's like the only good vampire, basically, right? Because um, he, yeah, he's one of the few that have completely renounced blood. Um, and the, yeah, the vampires in The Witcher are uh, really amazing. Um, but that's a different topic. But like, yeah, the... Uh, yeah, humans hate monsters because they they literally prey on humans. That's like saying like a, you know, a minnow... Minnows hate piranhas because they don't know which ones want to be innocent, you know. I mean, jeez. Only witchers stand between you and humans. We know both worlds. Protect both. <sighs> it's just too simplistic. I don't think Geralt would, would say that. Um, it's, yeah, it's too, like, ham-fisted. Yeah, well, witchers mainly know the monsters part. They don't really get along very well in the world. Um, we don't, yeah, they, they don't protect both, they don't protect monsters. You know? Maybe they, well... <sighs> they protect innocent, innocent people, right? Or at least... Uh, at least Geralt does. And Geralt is in a class of his own when it comes to witchers, right? He not only is um, way more powerful compared to a normal witcher, but he has his own moral code. Um, and he's actually like a, you know, a knight, a twisted version of a knight in shining armor. Whereas the other, almost all other witchers are, you know, going to be just like normal. Um, they're they're going to do their job. They're like a pest controller or a um, uh, uh, whatever whatever um yeah pest controller um or they're gonna be like crazy uh evil like uh like gaia tan or whatever his name is that was in the uh, werewolf and cat play quest um Geralt is like pretty much the only upstand morally upstanding witcher um of course there is the other wolf school witchers but they're not nearly as like heroic as Geralt. um and we can get into like, oh, whether or not uh, witchers are heroes, right? They they kind of are, right? But they they are just doing their job. Um, we kill dangerous monsters so the thinking ones can live in peace. Another kind of cringe line here. Um, we kill dangerous monsters so the thinking ones can live in peace. Um, I think yeah, this might. Maybe this maybe this quest is way better in Polish. I don't know, but uh, the way yeah, we kill dangerous. I think yeah, the the term monster I think is a, a bit overused here, because um, I I think yeah we kill we kill dangerous creatures so thinking ones can live in peace. I think that would be a bit better, but I guess it would literally mean the same thing. I guess, um, but yeah. Because 
be, because of this quest establishing that monster is like a, a an actual class of like you know um a class of uh people a class of beings uh which they aren't it's just a it's a classification of a of a type of being right but like the uh there's a difference between a classification and like an actual class that's like affected by systems you know um because like yeah would i don't know about this but like would criminals be considered a class of people felons would be considered a class of people right but like the uh, the classification of a criminal is not really a an actual class of people i don't know maybe they are considered that way in sociology i don't know but like I know felons are, are kind of a, a, a class of people because they, they do have their own, like being charged with a felony can affect your life greatly, obviously. Um, but just being a criminal, I mean, like that's just like a very loose categorization, right? Um, it's a cat. Yeah. Monster is a category. It's not a class. Um, whereas, yeah, I think the creature just changing one word fixes this whole line of dialogue. Um, but yeah, the the idea that monsters are like a are, are a class of beings is is really annoying and and not fitting to me. Because yeah, it's like saying that like pests or like um pests. Oh, well, let's see. Because that's what that's what mon that's what monster basically is, predator, you know. Oh yeah, that, yeah. It's like saying predators are like a uh, are like a. I don't want to say a, like oppressed class, but you know. Oh, man. So you say now, as you stop. You don't. Could have killed you all long ago if I'd wanted to. I believe him. We should let him be. I'm all for it. To my thinking, he's telling the truth. <laughs> yeah, like what's the point of having these like super innocent creatures in this group in the first place? You know, because they obviously wanted to kill Geralt. Like, if they if they didn't want to kill him, then why would they try and throw a giant boulder on him and throw him in a nest? You know. Witchy thingy. Ah, a just witcher. A kind witcher. A lying witcher. He fiends at all. All humans lie. Let it rest. This is not the way. You shan't bring Adalia back. To me, yeah, this feels pretty cliched, too. Uh, stay here. I'll finish this alone. Oh. Uh, it doesn't matter. You're done. Uh, you will die. For her. For my Adalia. Uh, uh, Dang, cut his head off. Okay, let's see the next cutscene here. This one isn't as bad, but let's see. You were right. Monsters are like men. Some are good, some are bad, and still others simply lost. Monsters are not like men. No. Some men are like monsters. But like mo it's oh my god. The it's a it's just a false dichotomy or whatever fancy word you want to use. That's a right shame. That guy wasn't, I mean, yeah, he was obviously like a lost monster or whatever, because he was like, he was like thinking through it and he had like a vendetta. But like, it's, he's, he's not really any different than a werewolf that you can just find in the game and kill, you know? Different ones? Should never have let him talk us into this. Oh, okay. It's his plan. Here? A little something from us. So you're... But like, why would a werewolf be friends with a Doppler and a troll? I don't know. This is like a yeah. It's it's just like the X Men, man. Or like, but not all it seems like there's backstory to this that we haven't been told. You know, dangerous. not all monsters Thanks. are dangerous. That's that Godling's pretty uh, cute though. Let me get the Necker boots. Um. Right. Um 
I think I've pretty much gone over all my gripes with this quest. I, I wish I could have explained it better. But... I think, yeah, it's very cliched, and it, they didn't really... It seems like they didn't think it through very much. Because, yeah, like... Um... Yeah, I think the the main issue is just the um, conflation of monsters being like a specific class of beings that are affected by a system. It's like they... No. No. I think, yeah, it, this quest kind of... I think it kind of betrays a misunderstanding of the, of the whole idea that Geralt will spare innocent creatures. Um... And I think it takes it too far to where it's very cartoony. Yeah, it's it's a very like comic book, like simplistic TV show episode, you know, that just doesn't fit in the in the rest of the game to me. Um, yeah, and it there's just no subtlety to it. Like it's there there was subtlety around this whole um, idea before this quest, you know? Um, does Geralt, like, does Geralt think this is justified to let this monster go because it's not really causing that much harm? Like, that's an interesting idea. Um, but now it just turns it into, like, a... I don't know. A, uh... God. I wish I had words to describe. I don't know about words. I can't do words good. Um... I really hope I'm not alone on this, though, but I feel like this quest is really well-liked for the most part. I hope I hope that other people can see that this quest is very simplistic and kind of lame, actually, and I don't think it... I think it's actually kind of bad. Um, but, like, I, I really don't... I'm not really experienced enough to come up with a better critique than it's lame and bad, but, like, you get what I mean, right? I went over my points, right? Lack of nuance. Conflation of monsters as a class of people when it's uh, mainly... It's a category of being. You know? And it kind of... I think it kind of ruins a lot of the aspects of the... Of the idea of sparing monsters. I don't know. Why is it... Yeah, I don't know. It's it's it was it's very much like a a comic book type story where it's a overly simplistic. Huh? Um. Whereas, like, okay, and I'm I'm about to do a quest with a you know a relatively a nuanced decision over here. Um. So yeah, the the other the other time I talked about well, this isn't really a, a decision in this quest, but it's mainly like yeah, because if you try and fight them, Geralt acts like an idiot too, because he's like I don't want to parley with monsters, because then Geralt would never say that either, you know. Geralt, you know, like I said in the in the last installment, is he's like uh. Geralt is a really good amount of intelligence for a protagonist. Um, he's not some genius, but he's like he's clever and he he knows his way around situations, and he's you know he's not an idiot, right? And he can figure out and he can understand circumstances and kind of weigh weigh what to do. And I th yeah, in the in the books, he's a very philosophical. Um, he's kind of but he's kind of whiny, I think. Um, but like. He's not a genius or anything, but he does, he has a good head on his shoulders and he can figure out things. And uh, this was just very overly simplistic for I th I think for a universe that has you know a lot of potential to have these like really nuanced situations. Um, um, 
But to me, okay, yeah, I think that the only... Hmm. Um. To me, I, f I feel like, yeah, there isn't really a lot of examples where the decision is really hard. Um, except for the Whispering Hillock. Um, but for that one, the outcomes aren't exactly very well projected to you. Um, so I think, yeah, that decision kind of works a bit better as a moral quandary when you already know what's going to happen. But really, you have no idea what's going to happen that when you're when you're actually doing things. So, but yeah, that's different. It's, yeah, it's rare where you're like, given like oh here uh, it's rare where you're given an actual choice between the lesser of two evils um but i'd have to i'd have to look at that or, or think about that because yeah the in say uh tower full of mice quest it's not really a choice between the lesser of two evils it's mainly like do you trust this ghost you know. Yeah, I think it's kind of rare whether or not, um, whether or not you, or um, it's kind of rare when you actually do have like a lesser of two evils type choice to make. To me. Um. Where, where uh, discussion on um what actually is the lesser of two evils would be difficult. And it, it, that is where the Whispering Hillock comes in, but at that point, you don't exactly know what's going to happen, like I said. Um, I think, a, yeah, a good example of a, this type of choice is definitely uh, the ending of Hearts of Stone. Which, uh, if you haven't seen that, well, spoilers, uh, you have the choice to let Gontaro Dim kill or absorb... Um, Bullgeard's soul, or you have the option to intervene and fight Odin. And it's that's that's a pretty good lesser of two evils choice, right? Because I think both choices are pretty valid. Um, I wouldn't necessarily say that both choices are equally valid, because I do think the choice um, where you fight Odin is better. But to me, I, th I think that's a good example where you, you can personally weigh the two options and decide which one is better for you. Um... I think that, yeah, there, it, this kind of gets into a broader discussion of how this game actually handles player choice. Because um, on the surface, I think it, it looks like this game handles player choice extremely well um, for a video game with this scope. Um, but I think that in a lot of cases, it, it, fail, it fails to account for player choice or um, the choices aren't... Okay. I don't know how to say it, I guess. It fails to account for player choice, or, um, the choices really aren't as, like, equally interesting or thought-provoking as you would expect from the Witcher universe, you know? Is there one like that in uh, White Orchard, in the first area? Um, I guess it's kind of like, do you take the money from the Nilfgaardian? But that choice is really super unimportant. So then we have another problem, which is the choices being insignificant and uh, not really relevant to the plot at all. Um, I think... This is where uh, this game would definitely benefit from some kind of reputation system, like in Fallout New Vegas, where it's like if you if you uh, scorn the Nilf Guardians' money, they won't like you as much. Um, but if you take their money, you won't get as much XP, and uh, but you will get the money. You will also uh, gain reputation with Nilfgaard and lose reputation from the commoners or t like Tamiri or whatever. 
this is where I think, yeah, if you're going to have these complex choices, I think it would be cool to have like some kind of reputation system too. But it doesn't really matter because, yeah, Geralt's already an established character and his reputation is not, I mean, it, it would be weird to fit that into the game. Um, yeah. I want from in terms of the comments on this video give me examples of really interesting choices that you remember from the game um, and yeah I cuz I mean I'm just I'm, I'm pretty like I'm kind of retarded right so I'm like struggling to remember but yeah there are like to me, there aren't really that many tough choices in this game, unless you're doing it for the first playthrough, right? Unless you're, unless you haven't seen the outcomes of everything. Like there, there aren't. Like yeah, I, the really the tough choice is the Whispering Hillock, right? But yeah, you, usually like there is like a better outcome, or a more like cinematic or interesting outcome for basically everything. I don't know. Yeah. It's tough. This game, yeah, the more I play this game, the more I realize that this game is actually pretty far from perfect. Um, but yeah... And it does have, I mean, look at all these question marks. Kind of gives me like nom flashbacks of Assassin's Creed. And yeah, you don't want to be reminded of Assassin's Creed when you're trying to play a quality video game, right? Um, but the, uh, yeah, the, the game has a lot of problems, but it's like, it's still, it's still really good. And you know, you might say you might say a masterpiece, um, one of the games of all time, or one of the one of the uh, best games of all time. However, like when it's when it comes to stacking up against other CRPGs, like yeah, this I mean, I don't really know how this game, how well this game fares. I suppose there's, yeah, there's a hard choice in this quest, too, but that one's kind of dumb as well. Um, and, yeah, I can get into that later. Um, but uh, I don't want to talk about it, because this is actually part of the Let's Play, and I don't want to spoil anything, so. But um, there are actually, yeah, there are very few uh, interesting choices to make in the main quest as well. Because most of the most of the interesting choices are relegated to the side quests. Yeah, when it comes to the main quest, it's pretty much like going exactly. It's yeah. There's no like. Well, yeah, it's pretty much just going on a uh, roller coaster, exactly the way that CDPR wants you to, which is another reason why this game I think would have worked a lot better as like a, a little action game like Spider-Man, you know? But I, uh, yeah, this was just kind of an impromptu discussion after, right after um, playing, uh, playing this quest and going over my problems with it. Um, I really hope I'm not alone. And I, yeah, I hope that I don't get dogpiled for this um, opinion. But I, yeah, I hope that people who can, who enjoy this quest, can see what I'm saying. You know, um, 
I get why you would enjoy this quest because yeah, it is cool how you, how these how these choices that you've made earlier actually have an effect on a quest that you didn't know was going to happen, you know? Um, and you're rewarded for engaging in that kind of philosophy where it's like, yeah, I, I don't know if I should kill this monster, you know? I should have principles. And yeah, Geralt is a witcher with principles. So, um, but to, to my mind, I think this quest goes a bit too far and, and too cartoonish when it comes to analyzing that. Um, yeah, I, I think that, yeah, if I could just erase this quest from the game, I think I probably would. Um, not that it's horribly implemented or annoying to play. Uh, but I, I think that it, the writing just does not fit with the rest of the game at all. It's, it's very, like I said, it's very comic booky, you know? And that kind of thing fits with that, with, with that, you know, with that style. And I, I like a good, like, you know, ham-fisted message or whatever, if it's done well enough. Um, well, I shouldn't say that, right? When I, yeah. I don't know. And I, I'm not an expert on how to handle, like, messages and, like, philosophy and ethics in your, uh, in your media. Because I, yeah, I'm not a genius. Um. But uh, and I'm a I'm a fan of I'm a fan of uh, you know Star Trek TNG, where there are a lot of episodes that are you know just kind of ham-fisted uh, messages, right? Um, and then yeah, you kind of have you kind of have stuff like the the Last of Us Part Two. Or it's like the game tries to do a message, but it just kind of fails, and and nobody uh, nobody really gets it, I guess. Um, oops. Um, I haven't played that game, but what I know about it is, I mean, I, yeah, we don't have to get into that, but I think yeah, people ended up hating that game because of the way it treated the death of one of the characters, and then at the end, it's like it's like it's a really kind of ham-fisted oh revenge revenge bad um, message. Um, There was a really interesting quest in here, but to me, it just completely failed, you know, at being, at, at having any ounce of nuance or, uh, or, um, uh, intrigue to it. I think, yeah, it just completely failed for me. Uh, and yeah, if I, if I had the ability to just snap my finger and just remove this quest from the game, I would do it. Um, because it does kind of it does kind of take away from that kind of interesting nuanced philosophy of Geralt sparing the sparing this monster when it doesn't, you know, when it's not doing anything wrong or not hurting anybody. Uh. Anyway. Not quite as uh, measured as my discussion about um, the Whispering Hillock, but I do hope that uh, people see what I'm saying at, at the very least and, and hear me out. Um, but, you know, knowing the internet, that's probably not going to happen. So <clears throat> take care, and I'll see you on the path. <laughs>